This is HP NV X360 2-in-1 15-inch laptop. Came with Windows 11, but recently Windows 11 gives a lot of issues. So we thought, let's reinstall the Windows. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall it. First of all, you should have bootable Windows 11 thumb drive. This laptop does have Type-C port. So if you don't have Type-C thumb drive, then you need to have the converter like this. Once you connect it, then restart the system. While you restart it, you need to keep pressing F10. So it's going to take you directly to BIOS. It's loading up now. So that is the main screen. So from that side, we can only see the information, all details about the machine. We need to check it out from security system if there is any TPM. As you can see the TPM, that should be enabled if you'd like to install Windows 11. This one comes with TPM 2.0, so this is fully compatible with Windows 11, any version. And the second option configuration has to be set up like that. Just double check all the settings. And then let's go to the next session, which is there boot configuration from there you have to keep it that way which is for UEFI environment as you can see it shows all the UEFI sections are on now if you'd like to take USB on the top list you just need to select it and then press F7 to take it up now we're going to press F10 save and exit it while you exit we have two choice if you don't select the USB as a first boot priority, then you need to keep pressing F9 to take you to temporary boot options. As you can see now, this is loaded up. Select as you wish from here. It's pretty simple. For my case, United Kingdom, hit next. Accept the terms and condition. Hit next again. Now choose the bottom one, which is called custom installation. And that would give you absolutely clean and fresh Windows installation. So go for the bottom one, which is this. And now as you can see, there are many partitions. By the way, if you have any important data before you proceed anything in here, Make sure you back it up first before you delete any partition. I just want to install fresh and clean windows. So I'm going to delete every single partition that you can see here. All of them. One by one. And the last one. Now I'm going to hit next and it's going to copy every single thing into the main directory. And that would create C partition. Once the installation done, we might need to update the drivers because I found many cases when Windows installed, the drivers are not up to date. So we might face some sort of difficulties with the Wi Fi issues, sound, trackpad, even the video drivers. But that's not a problem. If the Wi Fi driver is not there, we can have a cable connection through USB. <clears throat> By the way, nowadays Windows 11 giving a lot of issues with the Wi-Fi signal. Sometimes it disappear, but when you check the Wi-Fi driver is there or not from the device manager, it shows everything is there, but there is no signal. And that's the main fact why I'm reinstalling it. Because I deleted all the updates and everything, uninstalled the drivers, reinstalled it, but nothing did help. And it came back to the same page because we selected USB stick as a fast boot priority. So we need to delete it and change the fast boot priority to internal SSD. I'm going to close it now. Keep pressing F10 so that I can change the boot option again from external USB to internal SSD. So next time when it restart, it's going to 
load up from the actual internal one so for temporarily I'm going to select that which is internal right so finally Windows 11 is loading up now it's pretty simple we need to hit next and get to the main page <clears throat> by the way when the Windows setup was finalizing it took so long it says getting ready for more than 5 to 10 minutes if you see this sort of situation please don't press and hold the power button don't try to interrupt anything otherwise it might crash the actual setup system instead wait hold tight and it should be fine and make sure your charger is connected in that point so now we're gonna select all other stuff in there and we're gonna get to the main page and then we'll see which drivers you know up-to-dated if there is nothing up-to-dated we're gonna do that stay with me as you can see here still this machine shows there is no Wi-Fi signal okay <clears throat> so in Windows 11 if you see this sort of situation it must be something wrong with the internal Wi-Fi card PCIe Wi-Fi card which you must need to replace it because if there was any driver issues or Windows issues when you get to this page when you get to this section it should repair you know so definitely some sort of issue with the hardware which is with the Wi-Fi module you must need to replace it by the way we're gonna have the cable connection which should be fine and this machine doesn't have RJ45 or cat5 cat6 connector so what he should do use the type C to RJ45 adapter if you do have one if you don't then you can use your phone as a hotspot but you must need to connect through USB cable otherwise you don't be able to use it because there is no any Wi-Fi signal here by the way I don't have the account I'm just going to skip it and get to the main page So finally the Windows 11 is ready all good here I tested it so that's how you reinstall Windows 11 or you can reinstall even Windows 10 you might have some sort of driver issues as I said so check in my another video how to update drivers easily and let me know in the comment section if there is any question thanks for watching bye for now